Hey everyone, so this is how you can make anything follow your player around. So to start off, we're going to make our prop that's actually going to follow our player around. So press control space to bring up your content drawer and go into your content uh, folder. And here I have this props folder. You can make that. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to right click and select blueprint class. From here, select uh, the building prop option and you can rename this. I'm just going to call it follows player or whatever. I'm going here. So what we want to do is go to add static mesh. And here you can specify your static mesh. And in this case, I went to this uh, fab alpha marketplace and downloaded this broken statuette of static mesh. So if I go here and to the right here, I can see static mesh and I'm going to get this broken statuette. And I'm just going to resize that and that this is what's going to follow my player around. Okay, so hit compile and save. We now have our prop. Now we need to a verse terminal, reverse uh, device. So go up here to your verse, press verse explorer, and then here in your uh, file or project name, right click, add new verse file to project. I'm just gonna call this uh, prop follows player device. We can call it whatever. Okay, so create that. And then go in here. Okay, so in here, the first thing we need is a reference to our actual prop. So we create this at editable. And then down here, we're going to create our a prop variable. So I'm just going to call this uh, follower prop co colon. It's going to be of type creative underscore prop equals and it's just creative underscore prop, just a generic creative prop. Go back to UEFN. You can close this verse build verse code. And now we can go to our content drawer again. And in your creative devices folder, you're going to get this prop follows the prop follows device or whatever you called it. And here you can see we can specify the follower prop. Uh, I'm going to be actually first I need to actually drag on my prop. So go back here. I'm going to drag this out. And you can see we have this here in our game, you can resize it do whatever you want with it. But go back into your terminal. And in my follower prop, you can see my follows player prop. Or you can also pick this and do use the eyedropper here and then pick your prop. And you can see it sets that to my follower player. Okay, with a reference to our prop, now we can actually code up our follow player logic. Okay, so the very first thing, I'm going to create a function. So I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, do follow player. And we have to add this, uh, it's called a specifier basically our left uh, arrow bracket and then so type in suspends and close that and then it's going to be type void equals and then here okay. doing follow or whatever okay uh, what the suspends does is it basically creates what's called an asynchronous function which means this can run in the background uh, which is what we want okay um, I'm going to want my thing to follow my player around for uh, forever. So what I'm going to do is create a loop. So I'm going to create a loop. Okay, so to actually create our logic here, first, you have to go up here and type in using slash fortnite.com slash characters. Um, and now down here, um, firstly, we're going to get a list of all players in the game. Do if we're going to call this player list colon equals we type in get play space. Okay, and then dot get player. So it's going to return a list of every player in your game. Now, like I said, if you're the only player, you're going to be the very first player within that list. So uh, we're going to make a new variable, we're going to call this Fortnite character colon equals and we're going to do player list of zero. So to get the very first element of an array, you uh, that's going to be index zero. And like we said, you're the only player. So you're going to be the first element, right? And from then we do, so we get your player and then we do get fort character and you end that with uh, your brackets. Okay. And then we can print hi or whatever. And you can see this is complaining because we need to add a else statement to this loop. Otherwise we might be stuck in an infinite loop. So type in else. And here type in break. Okay, so now we have our actual Fortnite character. Uh, the first thing we need is its uh, position. So our Fortnite character's position. So call, uh, create a new variable called player position. It's going to be of type vector three. 
And to actually use this vector three, we have to go up here and type in using slash unreal engine.com slash temporary, I believe, slash spatial math. Yeah, there you go. So now we can use this vector three. And this is going to be equal to our Fortnite character. Anyone who dot get transform dot translation. Okay, so this get transform returns a, a bunch of stuff. Uh, one of them is going to be our translation, which is our position. It also can return our rotation, I believe, or it can return our scale, which is the size of it. In this case, we want the position. So from this get transform, uh, it's called, it's a structure. So from the structure, we want the translation. And the translation is of type vector three, as you can see here, so that we can assign that to player position. All right, cool. So now we have our player position. Now we can actually do the follow function. We get our follower prop. So whatever your prop is, we call this dot move to function. And this move to function takes three arguments. The first is the position that you want to move to. In this case, I want this to move to my player position. So pass in player position. Next is the rotation. Um, I don't really care about the rotation. So I'm just going to uh, pass in this rotation, empty rotation uh, value. And last is going to be your time taken. So this is the time it will take to move from its position to the position specified. In this case, a player position. The lower your time, the faster your prop is going to move to that position. In my case, I'm going to put 1.0 and it's going to move to. Now this takes a float, so you can't pass in just one. You have to specify 0.0. Uh, you have to be a bit verbose with, with this. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but yeah. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, the only thing we need, uh, I'm just going to get rid of this temporary thing. Just go here on your on begin and you want to call your do follow player. Just like that. Now we should be able to go back to our Unreal Engine. Okay, so I'm back here. Do verse, build verse code. And then you're going to want to launch your session or if you're already in a session, uh, push changes. In my case, I'm just going to push changes and save all selected. Okay, so I'm in my Fortnite game. And if I start my game, we should see our prop uh, follow us around. So there you go. It's following us around. And that is spooky. That's very scary. Um, see if I jump. I should. Yeah, it jumps with me. Uh, that's because it, uh, my position gets updated to where I'm jumping. And it's going to be following my position. As you can see, that follow me, follows me around. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I hope this was helpful.